It gives us that a log um, that is 10 meters long is cut at one meter intervals um, at its cross-sectional areas. So uh, I should have done a few more cuts. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah. So this whole thing is uh, 10 meters long. And as we can see, uh, it has uneven widths, right? Sometimes it's thinner, sometimes it's thicker. And then it's asking us to, um, to evaluate the, the volume to calculate it uh, using the midpoint rule. So now using the midpoint rule um, with n is equal to 5. So we're going to actually... Uh, consider that this is 5, but we're going to take the, the the width of it at the midpoint, right? So basically, this this width here would account for the first one at that first midpoint, and then the width at the second midpoint um, would account for... Let me do it in a different color. The second midpoint, it would account for... Let me build it in green here... We'll go like so, and then the third width would be calculated here. Um, the fourth width would be here, and lastly, the fifth would be like so. So we're taking it, we're um, artificially turning it into bigger sections, and then calculating it based on the width at the midpoint. So um, now that we, we have kind of drawn what that idea looks like, let's, let's take the first midpoint. So the first midpoint is uh, the point that's right in between two, two values. So that's the first midpoint. I'm going to do it in blue to follow the correct colors. So that would be the first one that is right over here. Um, the second one would be three. That's between two and four. So it would be right here. The third would be here, which would be five. So that's between four and six. The fourth would be here, um, which would be number seven. And lastly, we would, we would have one that would be over here um, at number nine. All right, so let's, uh, let's sum up these volumes. So now we know that a volume is just given by uh, an area at the base times a height, x. So basically, we're just multiplying uh, the area times the height at all of these and then adding, adding them up, like so. Um, so for the first one, we would have, let's see here, um, an area of 0 0.65. For the first one, we have 0 0.65. And the height is not going to be one, right? Because we're actually, we're taking it at the midpoint. So because we're dividing these into five equal chunks, the height is actually going to be two because they, they all add up to 10. So for the first one, it's gonna be 0 0.65 times two, plus the third is 0 0.61 times two. Um, the fifth is, the, th the third, sorry, is 0 0.59 times two. And then um, the fourth will give us 0 0.55 times 2. And lastly, plus 0 0.9 times 2. So uh, let me put this in my calculator to add it up. Plus 0 0.61, plus 0.59, plus 0.55. And um, oops, I wrote 0 0.9, but it actually should be 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 2 plus 0 0.5, and all of this times 2. Um, and this should give us, let me just double check uh, my math. This should give us, let's see, this is equal to 5.8. And our units, uh, we have meters squared times meters, so it's going to be meters cubed. And that's the volume that we have.